Did you know that when people go through a breakup, they experience the exact same symptoms as coming off cocaine? Crazy, right? And science has now proven it. Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Mel Fernandez. And firstly, I want to say a big thank you for pushing play. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I share lots of videos of what happens to us when we go through a breakup, how to move through it, how to work through healthy relationships, and even a journey on self-love. So please make sure to subscribe it. You may not be going through a breakup, but you may know some other people that are. So please share the love and share this video if you feel that this can really help them. Because when I found out this research, it blew my mind away. I've experienced 27 breakups and I work as a holistic counselor now and help lots of women go through breakups. So I have seen the study play out and it makes lots of sense. And when I share this information with people, they get it. And it makes them understand that one, they're not alone. And what they are going through is all part of the process. It just makes so much sense. So let's dig into it. Dr. Helen Fisher, who is a well-known anthropologist and a researcher who is known for the research that she did about the effects of what happens to the human brain when we are in love. Yes, that is my brain behind that I drew. So basically what happened with Dr. Helen Fisher is she had three groups of people. One group who admitted that they were madly in love with each other for like 20 plus years. The other group had said that they were very, very much in love with each other, but had only been in love for a few years. And then this other group, which is the group that we are going to focus on for this video, is a group that were going through a breakup that was still experiencing the effects of the heartbreak after the breakup. Now, primarily, this is what we want to talk about because this is what blew my mind away. So what happened was Dr. Helen Fisher took this group of people who were going through a breakup and she put them through an fMRI scan and she put them in individually. First, she put them through, scanned their brain and brought them out. And then she showed them a photo of their ex-partner and then she put them back in the scan and brought them back out. Now this is where it got interesting. After they came out of the scan, she put two of the brains together from both the scans, one before they saw the picture, which looked completely fine. And then this other one that when they showed the photo of their ex-partner is what this one looked like, right? So I just want to show you this. This is not the exact part of the brain um, because when you look at a brain, it doesn't really look like this. <laughs> this is my doodling of the brain. But what happened was the part of the brains that lit up was one, the VTA. That's the ventral tegmental area. Now this part of the brain is responsible for like wanting, craving, pleasure, motivation. And then the other part of the brain that lit up here was the cardate nucleus. So like the CN, this part is responsible for reward. So let me just put that here. This part here is responsible for rewards. And this part here is responsible for like the motivation, the pleasure, the cravings. And these are the parts that lit up after showing a photo of their ex-partner. Now here, you ready for it? This is the exact same parts of the brain that lights up when people are going through the withdrawals of cocaine. Wow, right? So when people stopped having cocaine and they're needing that hit again, when they scan the brain, these parts light up. That's why the motivation to go and get cocaine is higher. The pleasure of wanting that hit again is higher. The cravings for it is higher. And the reward that will light up when they have that cocaine. So this is what happens when we go through this breakup. That's why when we're going through a breakup, we do things like, and this is like when the breakup has happened, right? We do things like stalk our ex on social media because we just want to get the hit again, 
right? The motivation to do it is higher. We may even block them on social media because we don't want to see them. And then we end up like going and using a friend's phone to just check their stories or check their social media. We probably would drive to our friend's house to go and do that because the motivation is higher. The pleasures that we start craving that person. We want them to text us. We want to see their name. We want them to call us. We're craving. We're craving them. They're craving their scent. And the reward, the reward when we get it as well, we like, oh my God, like the reward is like, give me that reward so I can feel good about myself. So basically, that's what happens in the human brain when we go through a breakup. Isn't that crazy? So I know you're thinking like, oh my God, that's insane, coming off cocaine and the same link as going through a breakup. But Mel, how do I move through that? How do I get over it? Well, there is a way to get over it and it all depends on you and your situation. But one thing that I highly recommend, like if you think about it, if it's, if we're looking at it as a drug and we're looking at our ex as like, hey, you know what, right now coming off them is like coming off that cocaine. If I was to give up cocaine, the only way that it's really going to work for me to give it up is by going cold turkey. Oh, yes, I said it, cold turkey turkey so what that means is no contact so literally no contact with your ex will really help you move through that so just breaking that cycle of not stalking them on social media not driving past their house not speaking to friends about them and asking how they're doing not driving well i said that driving past their house not going to places where you might accidentally bump into them you know, it's literally about setting up that no contact rule. And if this is something that you want to do, I do have a free no contact rule journal that you can download. Just head over to my Instagram page, The Mel Fernandez, and you can click on my bio and in there, there'll be a link tree where you can download your very own no contact rule journal to help you move through this breakup. You can do it, I know you can, and we can move through this. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope that this makes total sense for you. Again, please share the love. You may not be going through a breakup, but if you know anyone that is, send this video to them, and they may really benefit from the No Contact Rule Journal. Lots of love, thank you so much. Blessings, you are beautiful, you have a gorgeous soul. Keep reminding yourself that, and tell yourself every day that you are enough. Mwah.